So if we go to our header and we look at this, we also have this nav menu function to use for displaying our our actual menu. And we go to our functions and scroll a bit. Uh, if you remember, we had created two locations for our menus, and the second one is footer menu, and we'll use that. So we can go to our header and copy that function and we can then go to our footer and just above the copyright we can use that we can change the footer the team location to footer and we can also say the menu class we can leave it like that just to see what will happen so if i refresh it nothing will of course happen for now but if we go to our admin side we need to add a footer we go to our menus appearances menus and this menu is set to be a primary and we can also use it as a footer and i will do just that for testing purposes okay if we visit now we have that but we have those two here and why it's like that because we are using the same classes as this and now if i don't want to use the site menu i want to use the footer menu and I should press it there like this here okay and let's now uh, we can use the site menu some of the stylings so we can use this and we can use this like that and then we'll also say color is white and if we refresh the site we don't get anything oh color is black we have the styling already here so refresh that okay we have it like that and i want that to be in the footer so i can do just you can use this so oh no side footer well, we have footer menu, right? Not side footer. Side footer is this. Side footer is this, but this is footer menu. Sorry about that. So let's just change that to this one. Refresh everything is fine. And then we'll also use the footer menu to add text, text align to center. And if we refresh it, we'll have it centered. And why actually it doesn't look like centered? Because there's a padding because of the unordered list, uh, default styling. So we need to add something like that. And we can also add margin like that. If I refresh it, it would look like that, okay? And I want this to change on, on active hover. So we can use this. And we can go here on the footer menu and use that use the footer change this and this and then we we can do it like that so if we refresh it but nothing will actually happen so we don't want that we actually want the, uh, the color to change like this and we don't want to have the opacity on the black color but on white and I think it's like that the RGB of white okay fine and we can just say 0 0.7 like that okay so this is working and this is working and I also want to show you how to create widgets so we'll have some of the widgets right in our footer.